Talking about impact, talking about power, talking about spirit moving through testimony, through dance, and through song. Come on and clap your hands, everybody. Let's go. Whoa. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I choose to live my life by setting a positive mindset for myself and sharing positivity with others. I've noticed that the way I portray myself impacts how others see and treat me. While my church has made a huge impact on me, I've tried to give back and make a huge impact on my church. I've gotten teens involved to becoming members of our teen ensemble in the church itself. We've become worship leaders, sharing our talents, goodwill, and being true to Christ's example. I am here. people will tell you that you're not good enough, that you're not pretty enough, that you're too dark skinned or too light skinned, that your hair is too straight or it's too curly, that it's too kinky, too blonde, not blonde, too black, too brown, too auburn. Your lips are too thick, not thick enough. Your nose is too wide, not wide enough. Your eyes are too bright or too skinny. Got them little slits all the way almond shape. Somebody got something to say about your hips, about your feet, about your hands about what you think, the way you talk. Somebody always got something to say. Baby, haters are gonna hate. That's what they do. But you drop a little belief in the middle of all that hate, it's like dropping dawn in the middle of all that grease. It just separates. You start to believe that, and you'll be different. You will. I've seen it happen summer after summer. Kids show up at Silver Lake, their parents be driving up there down on Low Road, and they be looking around at the trees like, we gonna be here for a whole week. That's what it looks like on Sunday when you're dropping them off, but when you come back on Saturday, they are different. They have been transformed. They come out on Saturday, you can't pull them out their cabin. They don't want to leave. They holding on to people and hugging and crying and exchanging telephone numbers. And the same kid who had nothing to say the whole ride to Sharon won't shut up the whole ride home. And it was camp family and we went to the high ropes and then we went to the low ropes and then we went to the lake every day and the lake was beautiful and I got in and there was this little thing in the lake but it was okay and they taught me how to swim and then after I swam I passed the swim test and then after the swim test I went to the store and while I was at the store I had some snacks but not regular snacks because they're really important about health at Silver Lake so we had some other snacks but those snacks were awesome and then we had worship every night and not worship like at our church but like we were doing the worship and so I got to read and this girl got to singing and this other person was like telling the story and it was awesome and then we collected an offering for a mission and we were making sure that we saved the people at Flint and it was the best thing ever. And then on Tuesday, what we know, what we believe is that when you open yourself up to be transformed, you can't help but transform others. These are transforming. Something's about to change, right? It's about to get new up in here. What? They about to do something. Help me. That's why they have special effects <laughs> moments. This was not worked out in advance, unlike the movies. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Appreciate that. 
It would have been more dramatic if it happened when the music was playing. Let's just redo that like it did, shall we? Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Okay.